Hey everybody, um, how y'all doing today? Today I want to talk about uh, a nurse. Her name was uh, Elizabeth Wattlaufer. I guess that's how you pronounce her name. But um, I want to talk about her case. She was just sentenced to basically life in prison here in Canada, uh, which means 25 years or more, depending if it's... Because now they can actually... Before you used to only be able to do up to 25 years, no matter how much crime you did, but now they've changed the law. So she could be serving a lot more type thing, which uh, um, is, I don't know. It's all kind of sad, everything. This whole case is sad, actually. But um, you can see here that uh, these are the seniors that she was uh, accused and she pleaded guilty to murdering using, I don't know, insulin and whatever else. But uh, anyways, what, what I'd like to draw attention to is she's convicted on her own guilt and that how she got convicted was she told somebody... A uh, friend she confided into, a uh, boyfriend or something, I'm not quite sure if the relationship was quite that or not, but it doesn't matter either way. She talked to some friend, told the story that, hey, I did this to seniors and blah, blah, blah. And then this friend told the police. So the police now go and arrest her and so forth. So now they have her in, an, in this interrogation right here, as you can see. I'll just let you watch this for a second. I honestly felt like I wanted to use me. And he kept, Dr. Khan kept asking me, do you think God killed me for a special purpose? I kept saying no, because that did not sound like a special purpose, you know? Yeah. So, but yeah, I just had a sense after my marriage broke up that God was going to use me for something. And then after a while, I started to really wonder after some of the murders, if it was God or if it was the devil fooling me. So as you can see, she's probably um, a little loony. She's obviously not there. So what the travesty of justice here is, there's zero proof that she actually did this. And I can prove this. All, all It's very easy. This is some mentally disturbed woman admitting to crimes in nursing homes where she worked where people died. Well, let me tell you something. People die in nursing homes and respites and everything all the time. So despite different nursing homes you work at there's always going to be people dying no matter which nursing home you're going to i'm pretty sure of that but anyways uh so these people die and she tells a friend oh it was her it was her well there's actually zero proof that it was her and the proof that i have to prove that how can it be her is we got coroners so we had i don't know whether it's the same guy girl or not but we had eight coroners saying they died of obviously natural causes there was no suspicion in the the chain of uh the rank and file of this whole thing man there's just, there's just nobody was suspicious so here we have a mentally disturbed person making up perhaps or admitting to crimes that she probably maybe never even did so and then here we have this right here listen, listen to these family imp impact statements it just sickens me to hear this because nobody's using their head listen to this i feel now that mine my, my nightmare is over my dad is i have to forgive her i really do it's it's just the right thing to do obviously she wasn't well now that just sickens me now my second question basically is is Where's the lawyer here for her? Where's the lawyer going? There's zero evidence on you. We're going to have to take this to trial because there's really no evidence that you did this. But no, she still wants to plead guilty and guilty. So I'm going to presume the lawyer must have told her this or she's got to have the dumbest lawyer in the world then. But the point is, is she probably insisted on this guilt thing because... There's, she's not all there. And if anything, this lady needs help and we need to determine if she's really responsible because she's so mentally ill that she's believing the her own story, even if it's not true or true or not. I, I guess we don't really know. But what I do know is, is dozens and dozens of professionals, I'm sure that were involved in when people die at nursing homes from the nurses to doctors to the coroner to whoever, 
did not see fault in any of these deaths. So there is zero proof that this lady killed anybody. And it's a travesty because nobody is smart enough to say, well, okay, you're guilty, that's fine, but let's get the evidence to actually show it. Well, guess what? There is none. There's zero evidence. And I am sickened. I am just sickened that our justice system here is allowing some mentally disturbed woman to just plead guilty to crimes she may or may not have ever done. And, and just so you're aware, this is not an unusual thing that people will admit to things they've never done. Um, my best way to describe it is, this is, I mean, you must have watched TV shows where people admit to crimes they've never done. Or you hear about uh, they're looking for somebody that did something and then next thing you know, you have like thousands of phone calls of people that did it or this person did it or people admitting they did it. But yet you know it usually turns out not to be anybody that calls in and that's kind of my whole point it's never the person actually admitting to anything they they just never usually do that the real person but it happens i'm sure some do because they want to be caught but i mean we have a woman with zero evidence to show that she did any of this so i am just appalled by our justice system here so all I can say is get your shit together, government, and the judge and the lawyer should all be ashamed of yourselves, big time ashamed of yourselves, man, because all this lady has to do is, is appeal it and say, you know what, I was not in my right mind, and obviously you can see she's not in her right mind, and try to use the law for that for her. I don't know what's going on or why she's admitting to something like this or whatever, but it makes zero sense. So you can check out the articles yourself. It's uh, Elizabeth what, what, Laffer, Laffer, ever how you pronounce her name. I, I mean, I've heard people pronounce it two different ways now. So, But anyways, check it out. It just makes zero sense. This is the strangest case I have ever seen in Canada. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I just had to get this off my chest because it's just killing me that nobody, but it seems me, is smart enough to realize you have somebody pleading guilty to something she may never have done and she's obviously disturbed because we have dozens and dozens of professionals that said otherwise anyways thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't uh there's many other videos i got on here besides vlogs like this i got stupid entertaining silly videos game videos whatever you want but check it out man okay see you guys later Bye bye